Friday, November 2022. Get ready one and all, we are about to take a deep dive into the limited release that is coming this Thursday. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Once again, LCA is upon us, and this is a particular cigar I'm especially excited for because it's using some of my favorite tobacco, as well as a very like different, um, kind of like complex blend. And so let's delve straight into it. I don't want to waste any time. We're talking none other than the Diver by LCA Cigar. So this looks like a whopper of a cigar. It is a 6x54 Toro. Uh, the texture on this leaf uh, is so indicative to Connecticut Broadleaf Tobacco. It's something I absolutely love. It's got the full like shades of dark. It's got that very oily wrapper, promising a lot. I have not actually smoked this cigar. I wanted to do this on camera live to figure out what it's like, first impressions of smoking the diver. Now this is being dropped Thursday. If you're watching this, it's probably about a day or so. Drops nine o'clock California time, which is 12 midnight Eastern Standard. Let's get this a cut, a light. Let's see what the diver is all about this particular LCA release. So uh, first impressions on the nose, very earthy with a little bit of sweetness. Foot smells like raisins. There's a bit of raisiny, earthy on the top. This, this thing is just so like textured. The veins, the, um, the, uh, the sort of like bumps, the very much toothiness. Almost looks like a, a stock cut, something you see on something like a T52 or something. Draw is perfect. Prunes, raisins, and sweetness. Very interesting. Draw is magnificent. So as I understand it, this particular release from the LCA uh, uses the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper and this blend, after it has been rolled, uh, has been aging for two years. So this has already got some decent age on it. If you guys have smoked uh, anything that you wanna see what the age is like and you wanna put in that time to kind of see and hold, this has already been aged for you two years. Really exceptional idea. Can't wait to try this thing. Get this foot all toasted up. All right, very deep flavor, full, full in flavor. Coffee, uh, a little bit of spice, but not much. Um, but there's that maturity to the tobacco as well, something I've come to really enjoy, something I've come to really love. Sweetness, uh, but definitely on the finish, lingering coffee. That is incredible. Very, very deep flavor. Um, something that is very much out thinking outside of the box. And when I say thinking outside of the box, it's something that's very different uh, there's only a few cigars I've smoked that kind of has this flavor profile, and it's like this depth and maturity you sometimes find in something like a Liga Pravada, or even somewhat a little bit, I've experienced a little bit with that Septimo drop that happened, um, but off to a fantastic start. Now, I have to pull up my notes because this particular cigar uses so many different types of tobaccos, I want to make certain I don't get it wrong. But that spice on the retro is really nice. Like, you wouldn't know it unless you, like, actually retroed because it's pretty smooth. Um, but it's really, really nice up front. So let's see here. As I say, Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper, two-year age this cigar has been. It uses a Colombian binder and then very interesting fillers. You have fillers from Esteli, uh, which is in Nicaragua, as you know, and we have uh, Yamastron, Honduras, and Jamaica. So Jamaican tobacco is something that was more used, I think, uh, uh, probably in the 90s or during the first cigar boom. It's not something you commonly see. Um, and I don't know which tobaccos is giving that, like, initial sweetness. I think some of the spice is from Esteli, but it's, it's complimentary. It's not in for, front. This cigar is really, really impressing me. Like I said, it is an elevated experience. This is... Um, Something I would assume like a price tag of like in near the upper 20s just due to its uh, its perfect draw, its no smoke output, its flavor profile. Quite a bit going on with this. I've got you on speakerphone and I'm actually filming a review of the Diver, the LCA drop. Um, I've got to say like first impressions, this is, this is definitely out the gate one of my top picks for LCA this year. Um, 
It's, it's, it, I mean, I don't think I've enjoyed a cigar this early on since Purple People Eater. Uh, and I kind of read off the blend of what we're dealing with as far as the Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper, Colombian Binder. Uh, is there any additional information on maybe the origins of the cigar or who blended it that you might be able to give us? Uh, you know, so we, the way that we, you know, the reason that we kind of put the diver theme on the cigar is because it's like exploring the unknown. Okay. Uh, and so there are, you know, and you mentioned Colombian body, we've also got Esteli, Hamas Dry, and Jamaica fillers yeah. in, you know, in the filler, but you're really, uh, you're seeing certain tobaccos that haven't been used before, um, certainly not in the way they're being used, and this true, we, we really uh, saw this as being like a way of like, uh, you know, relating to somebody exploring it. Uh, the unknown, uh -huh. the, like the depths of our sea. So that's why we went the diver theme. Okay. Uh, you're, just, you're, you're seeing some really experimental stuff here, and it really paid off yes. quite nicely, I think. Definitely. I mean, especially with like the two-year age, and I'm not one to play com com uh, comparisons, like, oh, this reminds me of this or that. But I will say, if there's something that this reminds me of, it's that kind of like elevated Liga Pravada experience where there's depth of flavor, there's complexity... Um, this thing smokes way above its price point for me. That is, you know, we agree. We, when we got, when we tried, we're trying this. We were truly blown away, and we could have turned this into, you know, a, a twenty dollars cigar easily. But we wanted this to be something that everybody could experience. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I uh, am looking forward to it. What an incredible blend. <laughs> really glad you're enjoying it. There are not a lot of these, as I'm sure. Uh, you see now already, but um, I, I'm looking forward to uh, everybody having the chance to enjoy this cigar. Definitely. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to it as well. Incredible. I just couldn't be more happy to kind of, as we're closing out the year of LCA, go out with something really big, something huge, and that is the Diver. Perfect 6x54 Maduro. Great flavor. This is one not to be slept on. Don't miss the diver. It is dropping Thursday, 9 o'clock California time, which is 12 o'clock Eastern Standard. Guys, get ready. This is something you want to jump into because it is an incredible experience, one that really, really impressed me. I, I sort of hoped with Connecticut Broadleaf and the, and the sheen and the texture that it would have a lot to offer, and I will say it's exceeding my expectation. Thank you, as always, for the support. Hang out with us here on the channel. For next time, I'm Eric with Oakland Tobacconist. Oh,